Kirby Moore, guys. Kirby Moore, we got him on the show here. Kirby. Thanks for joining me. Nice. Yes, well, you said there would be cake and pie. Where's the cake and pie? There's, there's um, great things about every character, and there's a challenge. And that's a challenge as an actor is to try to embody the character, whether you're on camera or on the stage. Some sing and dance, some climb mountains. Why did you climb the mountain? To find you, Cole. My favorite episode was season one, episode one, where I show up in a room with all these super talented guys. You get into that room for the first time with a new cast, and you all start working off of each other, and, uh, and you're playing and you're having fun, and you look at each other like, yeah, we do this for a living. This is awesome. We have so much fun. And then we all look at this guy and go, you know, you, you, you'll get there one day. <laughs> I'm the star of the show in the sense that I walk into a room with some of the most amazing voice performers in the world, and they let me come in and work with them. Uh, and that makes me... That makes me so giddy and happy that just, you know, uh, I'm glad you guys like the show, uh, but uh, that, that's my happy you Guys, yeah, let's just take a few days to celebrate Kirby Morrow and celebrate what he did, not only in Ninjago, but also for his entire uh, career, everyone that was affected by it, and it ranges to a lot of people. So I feel like right now the least we can do is kind of give our respects to Kirby Morrow, give respects to his family, and I guess still carry on, you know, admiring his legacy and kind of learning from him as well. I feel like we could take a lot of inspiration from him. So that's pretty much what I have to say in this video. I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a, I guess, more um, calculated or Hey guys, Dan from The Fold here. Uh, as you can see, things look a little bit different this week. Uh, last week we came to you fresh off the news of Kirby Morrow's passing. Uh, we already had our episode of Weekly Whip recorded and edited, and we made the decision to just air it. And I know that was a little hard for a lot of you. You were reeling. Uh, in the pain of his loss. We didn't add anything to the episode, we just aired it and wanted to dedicate this week to talking about this because it's a hard thing we're going through as a community. If ever we need each other, it's now. And we did not want you to mistake the fold silence as some sort of a message in and of itself. It was just that we saw the tributes coming in. They were beautiful. We made a few tributes of our own on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And we knew we would be making this episode mostly solely about Kirby's passing. And um, we've been playing with some lyrics that we've written over the years and some, some words from the show that seem to sum it up so well. One that kind of hit me this morning was when Zane said, yesterday is gone, tomorrow is not here yet, all we can do is worry about today. We've been really trying to open up the communication on our Twitter and Instagram to let you guys know that we're here to talk, if that helps you get through this. You know, nobody ever said this life was easy. Um, and all I can say is that we're all in it together. I have bad days all the time. And whether you feel it or not, this community is here for you. And uh, you can reach out in the comments below if there's something in particular you're going through uh, in relation to this or just in general. And uh, we'll get in those comments and talk back to you. So this news came at a time uh, right about the same night as the new Ninjago sets being revealed. So I kind of watched the community uh, in this weird, strange moment where there was all this joy and elation about the new sets, which really, I mean, let's face it, that's your Super Bowl. That's the thing that we're most excited about. Maybe the new whips are up there as well. But uh, anyway, you had this joy and elation on one hand and this extreme sadness over the tragic news of one of our own family members no longer being with us. and. Um, you know, you guys struggle with that. I saw a couple people butting heads about it. Ultimately, um, the community prevailed. Um, you guys did what you do so well, which is you were there for each other. Uh, no matter what, we don't forget our brother. 
And um, so in that spirit, um, George and I wanted to celebrate those sets a little bit. A fan reached out to us wanting to interview us a while back. And uh, it turned out he wanted to show us the new sets. So what you're about to see is uh, George and I reacting to the new Ninjago sets live in an interview. We want to thank Neil. Uh, thanks for reaching out with this idea. You're an awesome dude. Uh, Neil actually edited this video. We'll drop his channel in the comments below so you guys can follow his channel and subscribe to him as well. So enjoy the fold reacting to the new Ninjago sets. Hey guys, I'm Dan from The Fold. Hey, George from The Fold. And uh, Neil from The Four Corners here to interview the people at The Fold with some questions. And what we'll also be doing is we will be making them react to the sets and uh, see what they think about it. Okay, I want to make sure I'm looking at the right thing. There is a Very skull cool. sorcerer or a skull guy. Yeah, skeleton. <laughs> skeleton. Very imperial. I like the fire. Yeah. What is that? Is that a... A vacuum cleaner down in there in the left corner? <laughs> For sure. uh, so, so what that actually does is you're able to uh, kind of roll that around. If you put the figure on top and you're able to make Kai oh. do some sort of spinjitsu. Awesome. Nice. That's cool. Mm. Moving on, we have the Zane's epic battle set the with the Nindroid and then Zane's in a funny little suit that we've never seen before. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is Way cool. To go, Zane. Yeah, we, got our, we got our phones here. Love those colors. Yeah, that's nice. Beautiful ice. He's also got a spin mechanism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think it's kind of like a, a general thing that they're giving you in every single set now. Very so cool. let's talk about <laughs> Zane's colors because I get a little confused. He was white, right? He originally. Yes, he he used to be white. Then he was titanium. titanium. Now he uses a lot of like icy blue and titanium in his colors. Yeah, yeah. White. That's actually what I wanted to ask about is the blue. I feel like the blue is a newer thing, but so that's an icy kind of titanium thing you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they started using the icy blue for Zane recently. The problem is that since they have to use icy blue for Zane, they have to use like this kind of like ugly yellow for Jay, which is a disappointment because Jay's lightning is blue, but it's going to look too much like the same as Zane's if they uh, do that for Jay. So that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, nice foreshadowing. I'm excited to get to that uh, ugly blue or ugly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is like a luau. I get the I get the feeling yeah. of. Yeah, I'm getting like a plantain vibe, like bananas or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the palm trees. This is cool. What is going on with his gi? Is that, that a serpentine statue or something? I guess that's just like a tribal statue for that snake over there. This is the funny one. You just get, you can just tell it's funny just because of like his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect it for him. It seems like, yeah, like they probably put it all together and they were like, is this it? Is this, are we going with this? <laughs> <laughs> or like a 10th anniversary special because season 14 doesn't look like it has like time to do all this funny stuff. So they might be doing like YouTube shorts or something. That's what they did last year. So that's yeah, what it's I'm It's crazy. It's been 10 for Ninjago. <laughs> Not. yeah orange cool. is getting to be a lot more prominent and cool it's a cool one it's kind of halloween like mm -hmm. yeah orange is the new black as they say orange is the new black you know what that's probably the tie-in wow orange is the new black <laughs> yeah orange this is cool a lot it's more creepy cooler. i like it it's really cool right. how they make it look like he's like suspended in air with the um I think they're called the ghost tail or something. I'm not sure what that piece is called. Maybe you could enlighten us. How do, when people make like the Legos of like us, how do they do that? Is that just all within programs? Well, if when we do, we kind of like go to our parts, see which faces kind of match the most. Uh, it's usually oh. in facial hair, like if the guy has a beard um, or that is like has funny. jaw lines, and then we find the right hair. I think Dan has like the perfect hair piece in Lego. It's a little harder to find <laughs> yours. And then um, the torso doesn't matter. It's just something that people wear. Usually people do t-shirts for you guys. And then maybe some jeans. 
something about the tenure they're revisiting this tournament of elements did i hear that right oh um that is also something we don't know yet okay but, i think i heard that from a fan so that's probably not correct them <laughs> uh, they do have a 10th anniversary figure so each set comes with a golden plaque of a um oh. ninja i remember this strong guy on the bottom left oh like, yeah you look or that. something this is what i'm talking about the fact that they released this set that's what i had heard oh okay that's cool Very cool so george you're looking at the one where it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ninja. Yeah, that's cool. I remember these characters. That was a great season. I loved the whip that season. <laughs> yeah, I saw the final scorecard recently. Um, I don't know if you know why I was finding this stuff, but I found it. It was like, I know why. technically, Chen beat Lloyd, and then Skylar came in third. And I was like, oh, that's a good piece of tri fan trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Skylar. Sure. I don't like this one. It looks nothing like the original. Oh, I was going to say, the original, when it was out, it was different? The, yeah, it was a lot. The re-releases are all just totally upgraded? I mean, this this is a downgrade, to be honest, because the original had more of a rise at the time. <laughs> um, it was a lot better. The bike looks a lot cooler this time, but the, the car is not that great. Mm, interesting. Yeah, it's cool. It kind of It's more like Back to the Future looking almost. It's got a little... I was curious, was your son into Ninjago? Like, does he buy the sets? Oh man, he's he's watching it right now. <laughs> he's uh, he's gotten more into it. It feels like since this new stuff hit Netflix. Um, but yeah, he's he's up on it. He he knows more than I do for sure. <laughs> Whenever he misbehaves, Dan says, "Get in that room and you go watch Ninjago." <laughs> hey, Lucas. Oh, he's busy watching Ninjago. See, I can't I can't <laughs> compete. <laughs> Did he find it pretty cool that your voice was in the uh, all of the Ninjago episodes? Yeah, like just just as recent as this morning, I was like running around the kitchen looking for something, and like the the see the episode ended. Right now, he's watching the ones where they uh, turn into little kids. <laughs> oh, that one! That is old. <laughs> and it's it's like my voice, so it's like, oh, there's Daddy, and he like skips it. I'm like, hey, what the heck? Don't skip the best part. So um, before, a fun fact about this is this used to be a $50 set with two mechs. So you got a ghost mech and Zane's Titan mech to fight along with that. And now it's $50 for like the one thing. So it doesn't um, transform into anything, right? No, no, no. It might have some features. It wouldn't transform though. Wouldn't transform. <laughs> it barely has knees. So Yeah. It's kind of like get it together and don't touch it ever. <laughs> I was kind of wishing it would still be a battle set because, like, from a kid's perspective, you kind of want, like, two things to fight against each other instead of, like, one big thing. So that was a bit of a... Oh, man. I loved this these seasons. Um, some of those... Uh, this was season three, right? Or, no, no. This is, like, season... Five. Five. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking, actually, of the season where... I was thinking of the after the blackout season. Because when I'm looking at these sets, sometimes they bring back the memories of when we were writing what songs we were writing oh. during the time. Oh, nice. Cool. You know, this one on the Golden Ninja, he, uh, the Kai Golden Ninja, he kind of looks like he's on a Segway. <laughs> mm. uh, I never really thought of that. but I, I think mean. it's just because it looks like wheels. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is cool. So that's a time machine plane? No, so, so, so the front might be a little confusing to you guys, but... What it does is, so I don't know if you guys see the gear near the chassis. So as you hold the, the jet and you roll those gears, the front literally starts rapid firing those missiles off. Like, it's absolutely oh, cool. cool. It literally starts, like, sh rapid firing. No way. Each That's barrel cool. in the front is a spring-loaded missile, and when that spring-loaded missile um, hits um, the pin at the bottom, it'll fire. So as you uh, roll it, it'll literally start firing everywhere. It's awesome. That's oh, cool. Man. This has to be the most expensive thing, right? Or do uh, we not have prices? Uh, we do have prices, so <laughs> but I I don't remember them too much. But the Titan Mech was the most expensive for fifty. Oh, okay. I think the Boulder Blaster is forty. I think I might be wrong about that. This is the first one where I'm like, I want to build this. Like I'm I'm actually considering putting this on the Christmas list or something. <laughs> I kind of like the. I mean, like, I know you, you don't like the car. I kind of like the car. It looks fun to play with. I mean, 
if I if if I had it, I would value. Have with it, but uh, I would have like go ahead and pay money to actually get that. Yeah. <laughs> So then you got to get it insured. It's just a lot. It would be fun. Um, I had a friend growing up who had like a Lego city he built in his basement. He had like a big open. His uh, tile was actually like a, a blue that kind of looked like the sea. So mm-hmm. he built this like big island city, like with like police station, and all the different municipal buildings. And yeah. I always thought that was like extreme. But um, <laughs> this could be its own little like community. All right. Well, cool, guys. Thanks so much for doing this, Neil. Uh, no problem. Uh, thank you, The Fold, for inviting me here. Or I guess I invited you, but thanks for letting me interview. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. And that's really about it, you guys. Uh, like and subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you never miss another notification. Still got to do my plug. Even on a somber one, you still got to do that plug. Once again, I've said it a lot on social media. I really think this community is at our best when we are helping each other out of a tough situation. And I saw that more than ever this past week. So we just wanted to say we see you guys and uh, we'll, we'll be back next week. Same time, same channel, slightly different whip and uh, probably a different location. This is kind of weird. White walls, echoey. Woo! See you next time. Cole may be gone, but he did not lose. Let what he did here today be a lesson for us all. Know thine enemy, but more importantly, know thy friend. He fought like a true ninja.